Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So please excuse the background right now. We are currently getting new furniture for the bedroom so everything um, is a little bit messy right now but I'm not gonna show you that. So right now we have a pretty plain background but today we're doing a luxury video and as you've read the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 2021 luxury purchases that I've done so far just because who knows if um, I might pick up something along the way at the rest of the year, but I definitely have not picked up too, too much or too many like big purchases or like exciting things that haven't had their own dedicated video. Um, so I'm gonna change my battery re <laughs> real quick because it is flashing and then we'll go ahead and jump into what I have purchased. So this got its own dedicated video back in March. It was kind of like my birthday present, maybe a little bit of a graduation present. I mean, that was the idea, but I definitely got more stuff after graduation. But if you didn't catch that video, I bought my first Dior bag. This is the Lady Dior in the medium size. Um, and she is vintage. She is this beautiful kind of like creamy white i got a steal on her she does have some wear and i do plan on doing a, a little bit adjustments to her later on in her lifespan so i scored this off a facebook market group place and this girl was selling for lady dior medium bag asking for fourteen hundred dollars and um i said can you do 12 and she said yes I feel like she probably bought it for like a thousand and that's why she was like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, but that's just my stipulation based on the condition of the bag. So she is from 2001. So she actually just turned 20 and kind of like officially vintage. Some people say that like 10 years is vintage. Other people say 20 years. But I guess in all aspects, this is considered a vintage bag. She didn't come with a strap or a dust bag or authenticity. But at the time that I purchased this, Fashion File did have this exact same bag the exact same serial code and um it did come with a strap and that was priced i believe like another thousand dollars um another twelve to fourteen hundred dollars so i thought this was really good um price for what i was getting in compared to fashion file like i said this bag does have a little bit of wear of it so in the back it is creasing a little bit i don't really mind that much because it's in the back i think if it was in the front i probably would have passed on the bag but um i mean that's what happens when you buy vintage bags it's not that big of a deal because if i got an organizer for it it like easily pops out see so if I got something that kind of just like pushed up against it, it could easily like pop out. And I believe this bag has been painted on. Um, so that's the only like, I guess a real component as to why the price is really low. I could tell because um, I think she did mention it that like the corners were painted and the handles were painted. It's very obvious in the handles. And I think whoever painted it did a horrible job on the handles, but um, my plan is to eventually send it off to Dior to get the handles replaced, which they can do, especially when it's um, such a classic color looking bag. I'm also plan on buying a new strap for it, which they also can do if they have the color still. But I mean, hello, this is like beige. I don't know what they're gonna do in regards to like it being painted. I think they might be able to do something. If not, it's not the end of the world because it's not horrible um and i did put like leather lotion on it and i saw that it did kind of mess a little bit with the paint um it's definitely more obvious in the back where it messed it up a little bit but again it's in the back so i don't really mind and it has very very few scratches it has like one little hairline scratch here i don't want to show my nails because i really need to get them done or do them myself and then back here i could tell where like it messed up the paint here um and where it possibly was scratched before oh and down here but again it's the back so i don't really care about the back that much um other than that it's in really good condition like it doesn't smell it's not like super like i said super deformed i thought it was such a steal for the price and compared to other lady dior bags i mean they don't really hold their value that well compared to the price but um i feel like i have to build more of a relationship with dior before i asked to send off this bag because again i didn't purchase it but that's just like my in my head um 
for the most part, the hardware here is pretty good. I think they might have gotten some paint on the, um, the hardware here, but again, I'm not too worried about it because I'm gonna ask for the handles to re be replaced. Um, right now I have this like twilly, not from any like designer house on it to kind of hide the really bad job that they did with the handles. I think that's where like whoever did this did a horrible job. Um, but yeah, I mean it can get replaced so I'm not too like peeved about it especially for like $1,200 for a pretty good condition except for like the paint um, and it doesn't come with like all the bells and whistles for a Dior and I've only worn it up a few times but I definitely get compliments whenever I bring it out and it's my first um, Dior leather piece because I do have a pair of shoes, but that was my big like birthday turning 25 um, Purchase for me also thought it was gonna be like a little bit more of a graduation present, but I bought other stuff for graduation um, And I'm actually gonna share that with you and now, like I said, I didn't buy that much I had much more things I had to put my money towards this year than like designer goods. I feel like 2020 I definitely like went a little crazy with the designer stuff. It's fine. Priorities change throughout the years. So the first thing um, I kind of treated myself as a graduation present were these pair of Saint Laurent shoes. They are the Bianca sandals in black. And I definitely think I am a shoe lover, like more than a bag lover because I don't know, I've always had like a gazillion pairs of shoes and I know some people are like very against like buying designer shoes because like you wear them out so much but I just find that like designer shoes are so much more prettier and like up my alley than like non-designer shoes and I'm not saying that to be like a snob or anything but like I look, trust me, I look, I don't want to spend like a couple like these are like $600, like it pains me to pay that much, but like I try to look for sandals that like kind of looked like this, that weren't designer, that weren't Shein either, that were gonna like rip up my feet um, because Steve Madden is starting to like rip up my feet um, before I can handle it or I could have handled it like when I was younger, below 25, but this time around as I'm getting older and my body starts breaking down slowly, I just can't wear Steve Madden anymore. Like. It's horrible for my feet. Um, so I bought these. I love these. They just like look a lot nicer because they're a lot of black. I think the Steve Madden ones is like it's black up here and then it's like tan and I hate it. It just kind of looks a little bit cheap. Um, the ones that I had. I also um, put covers on them myself and it worked with this pair because I did the whole process. So it's protected. Um, you're going to see with my next thing. I tried to do it myself and it didn't work out, but it's worked out with these. So these are the Bianca Saint Laurent sandals and that was like my second luxury purchase of 2021 so far. So I kind of gave away what my third purchase was. Um, my third and last so far purchase of 2021 and I got another pair of sandals. These are the Saint Laurent uh, tribute sandals, but they are in the color blush. I had to order these on Farfetch because I guess the blush colors and like the fun colors don't come to the US. So the other ones, the Bianca ones, I bought in a boutique, but no one had like the blush, not Nordstrom's, not like Saint Laurent themselves. So I did have to place them and I think they came from like Italy or something like that. Um, so these are the blush ones. I absolutely love them. These are the shoes I wore when I got proposed to and they're just so pretty. I was debating between getting these or the white ones. I think I still want the white ones, um, but I don't really need to do it now. I can wait till like next year because I found these other comfortable white pairs from Nordstrom Rack that were like 25 bucks, um, but they're just beautiful. I tried to do the thing again. Um, and I forgot to sand these down. I sanded the, the bottoms of the shoes on the other ones, but I forgot to do it with these, so one of them just fell off. It just fell off this last time I wore them, but I think I'm gonna take these to a cobbler now to get them professionally done. I did it myself to save a couple bucks, but clearly I missed a step, and I'm sure they'll do a better job 
so this has all the glue on it but these were my third purchase they're beautiful i love them they're a lot different than just like the black ones and i don't know i didn't want the tribute in the blacks i wanted a little bit different um vibe because you know everyone gets the tribute ones when they don't want to get like the hermes iran sandals so i definitely wanted something different so i got the bianca and the tributes in the blushy pink and i love them because they're like nude but not like a beige nude so definitely love them also got a couple compliments on these babies but that is everything that i've purchased in 2021 luxury wise i don't know what if i buy something what i'm gonna buy next i definitely have a pair of shoes in mind but those are like quite pricey and for the amount of money that their shoe costs i can get another bag i also want another bag but you know which ones I want specifically, stay tuned for my luxury wish list of 2021. I don't think I've done one this year, but my opinions have changed on a lot of things. But again, who knows if I'm actually going to be buying anything else. You're just going to have to stick tuned till the end of the year because I have furniture to buy and that's expensive and that's kind of more a priority for me. Also, clothing for some reason has become a priority to me. Like that's what I've been looking at more in compared to luxury stuff. It just changes. It happens. I feel like I'm pretty happy with my luxury collection. Hi, Joshua. That's it for now. <laughs> so... I hope you guys enjoyed my little small and modest what I bought this year. And like I said, let's see if I buy anything else. We'll see. But I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.